In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Chromecast. Basically what this device is, it's a small HDMI dongle that plugs into a TV or a monitor and allows you to stream services like YouTube or Netflix. Now, this will not work as a standalone device. You will need a smartphone, a tablet, or a PC to actually use the device. Android is supported, iOS is supported, Mac and PC is supported, so pretty much any device that you have should work on the Chromecast. Now here's the main menu of the Chromecast on the TV. When you're not streaming apps, th this is what it actually looks like on the TV. You don't got too much to this box pretty much. On the left corner, you do see Chromecast Man. You can name this box when you first get it. You do have to tell it what name you want to give it, and I actually named it Chromecast Man. And at the bottom left, underneath my name of the box, it does say new apps at chromecast.com slash apps. There are, a couple, there are several uh, uh, streaming services that are allowed to work with the Chromecast. I will put it in the description of my video. So if you would like to check out what apps you can stream to the Chromecast, I will put that in the link. I will put that in the description. And uh, on the right side of the screen, it says 731, uh, and it also says photos by Brandon Fails. Now, the photos that you are seeing in the background are already made by Google. They're pre-made by Google, so you can't actually add your own photos or choose what photos you want. They're actually already pre-made, and they just go on the loop. As long as you're not using it, it'll keep switching uh, photos for you automatically, and it does automatically pick the photos. So I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube and demonstrate a video that can be played on the Chromecast. Basically, when you're in an application, you get this little uh, thing on the top. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but there's this little square box that shows like a little TV, basically, kind of thing. Then you just click on it, and it does say connect to device. And once you click on that, it'll send the video straight to the to TV. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The video should be playing a little bit. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Nintendo 2DS. Now, this system will run you $129. So it is the cheapest. As you can see, the video is playing. I think the Chromecast actually supports 1080p video. So if you uh, need 1080p video, you are covered, I think, pretty much. Now, one other thing to note is you do have to keep your uh, you do have to keep your device that you streamed it from right beside you because that's what you use to fast forward, rewind, and play and pause the video if you want to. So basically, the app, the uh, the device you used is basically used as a remote control. The only thing that you still need is an extra remote control beside you to actually turn off the TV and change the volume of the TV or mute the TV. But other than that, the device that you use to stream it with is going to be your remote control. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to the Chromecast. Once I exit out the application or, or exit my video, it will actually take me to a different screen than the home screen. As you can see, it took me to a YouTube, not really a YouTube page, but kind of a ready ready to watch page. It's basically saying I, I went to YouTube and it wants me to try another YouTube video out. So that's pretty much all there is to the Chromecast. Is the Chromecast a good thing to buy? Yes, it's a good alternative to say like the Roku box or the Apple TV. This is definitely a good device to get because it's a cheap way to stream videos straight to a bigger screen if you need that comfort. Now, it, uh, since it is only $35, it's a very good, very good alternative to those other boxes out there that do stream content on a TV. And anyway, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out.